Previously, we explored several actions for handling form submissions. Now, let's enhance our user experience by adding feedback during form submission using a React hook called useFormStatus. useFormStatus is a React hook that provides status information about the most recent form submission. When you call it, it returns a status object with four key properties. Pending, which is a Boolean that indicates if the parent form is currently submitting. Data, an object containing the form's submission data. Method, a string either get or post showing the HTTP method being used. And action, a reference to the function that was passed to the parent form's action prop. For our purposes, we will focus on the pending property which we will use to disable our submit button while the form is being processed. Let's head back to VS Code and implement this. Now, we could use the use form status hook directly in page.tsx, but there is an important consideration. Hooks can only be used in client components. Converting our entire page to a client component would not be ideal. We would lose all the advantages of server components. So what's a smart approach here? We will extract just the submit button JSX into its own client component. This way, we can use the hook without compromising on the benefits of RSCs. Let me show you how. First, create a new folder called components in the source directory. And inside this folder, create a new file called submit.tsx. Here, we will define our submit component. Export const submit is equal to an arrow function. First, add the useClient directive since we're using a hook. Next, we import the useFormStatus hook from React DOM. In our component, we destructure the pending property from useFormStatus. We return a button element with text submit, type is equal to submit, and some Tailwind CSS styling. Finally, we use the pending Boolean to disable our button when the form is submitting. So disabled is equal to pending. We also have a style corresponding to disabled state. Now let's use this component in our page.tsx file. So within add product page component, remove the button element and invoke the submit component. Make sure to import it from add components slash submit. If you try this now in the browser, you'll see the submit component being displayed. Fill in the form and click the submit button. It becomes disabled immediately. And when the form submission completes, the button is enabled again. You will see the newly added product in the list. Now you can take this further by adding a loading spinner or changing the button text if you want to give your users more feedback. But to summarize what we've learned with Next.js server actions, we can use the use form status hook from React DOM to manage state related to active form submissions. By extracting just the submit button into a client component, we can get the best of both worlds. Server component benefits from our main component and dynamic client-side updates for our form submission state. Up next, we will explore how to handle error messages with server actions. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.